Hello children. In this lesson, we are going to learn an interesting concept called standard identity law 1. So standard identity has four laws. We are going to law learn about law 1 in this. Consider this equation a plus 1 into a plus 2 is equal to a square plus 3a plus 2. So there is left hand side and then there is right hand side and there is an equal to sign here. There is an algebraic expression on this side a plus 1 into a plus 2 and here it's a square plus 3a plus 2. If we give different values of a to both left hand side and right hand side and let's compare what do we get. Let's take a as 5. Let's put it in left hand side. a plus 1 into a plus 2. We are taking a as 5. You can take any value say 3, 2. Give it a try. So it will become 5 plus 1. Replace a by 5 into 5 plus 2. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 6 into 7 is 42. Same way put a is equal to 5 in right hand side. a square plus 3a plus 2. So this will be 5 square plus 3 into 5 plus 2. 5 square is 25. 25 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 2 is 42. Right? So both left hand side and right hand side are equal for a is equal to 5. Let's try a negative value a is equal to minus 3. Same way in left hand side put minus 3. So this will become minus 3 plus 1 into minus 3 plus 2. So minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2, 3 minus 1 is 2 and bigger number is negative so minus 2. Minus 3 plus 2 is 3 minus 2 is 1 and bigger 1 is minus so that this is mi minus 1 and minus 2 into minus 1 is equal to plus 2. Minus into minus is plus. Same thing do for right hand side. Replace a by minus 3 we get minus 3 whole bracket square in plus 3 into minus 3, 3a becomes 3 into minus 3 plus 2. So 3 into 3 is 9, minus square means minus into minus become plus, 3 into minus 3 will be minus 9 plus 2. So 9 minus 9 is 0, plus 2 is 2. So both left hand side and right hand side are again same for a negative value. Right? So you can give any value and you're going to find left hand side and right hand side as same for that particular value. Such an equality that is an algebraic expression on left side and right hand side which are true for every value of the variables is called identity. So this is an identity. a plus 1 into a plus 2 is equal to a square plus 3a plus 2 is an identity because any value of a you give here you get this and or give the same value here you get the same value right so what is the use of it we can simplify algebraic expression to lesser number of terms for example this one if you are given an expression like this and if you know this kind of rule you can write this this was having three terms a square 3a and 2 you can write it down in one term this is entire one term of two factors a plus 1 and a plus 2 right so that is the use of identity to simplify the algebraic expressions later on you are going to learn about factorization where this identity will be used heavily to simplify the algebraic expression and break it down into a single term with multiple factors so let's learn the standard identity law 1 if you are given a plus b whole square that is a plus b bracket square which is nothing but a plus b into a plus b remember the power is for the entire a plus b so you, this is nothing but like n square n square is n into n or 5 square is 5 into 5 think this entire thing is n n into n so a plus b into a plus b how do we solve it we learned in multiplication we take this a multiply it with a plus b plus b multiply by a plus b right first step is we take each term within this and multiply it with this second uh, value which we with which we need to do multiplication so a plus b right 
a into a plus b plus b into a plus b. Now we can open the bracket here using the distributive law a into a plus a into b. So this is these two terms came from this plus b into a plus b into b. Right. So we got four terms here which we can simplify further as a square plus a b plus b a plus b square and a b is same as b a so we can rewrite it as a square plus a b plus this b a we have written as a b plus b square and why we have written b a as a b so that these two can be added a b plus a b is 2 a b so a plus b whole square gives us a square plus 2 a b plus b square and this is the rule for standard identity right if you are given some algebraic expression or a constant of this form you can solve it using this or vice versa if you are given something of this form you can rewrite it as a plus b whole square right let's take an example remember this children a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square this is standard identity 1 just the way there is commutative law associative law, distributive law for addition, multiplication and so forth. These are the some standard laws which you should remember very useful for algebraic expressions. So this is the law 1 a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let's take the use of it. Suppose we need to find 107 square. One way we can do is we can do 107 into 107 in the multiplication. 3 digit multiplied by 3 digit we just do the that way another faster simpler way I'll is use this law 107 can be thought as 100 plus 7 why 100 plus 7 because 100 is easier to multiply 100 into 100 we will be able to easily find it out right so 107 can be written as 100 plus 7 and 7 also is an easier multiplication table to remember compared to 107 right so we have just written 107 as 100 plus 7 whole square so now this becomes of the form a plus b whole square where a is 100 and b is 7 right so we can solve this thing using this formula right so 107 square is written as 100 plus 7 whole square where and using identity 1 we can think this as a and 7 as b and write it out this 100 plus 7 square as a square which is 100 square a is 100 plus 2 a b 2 into a is 100 b is 7 2 into a into b plus 7 square b square right so 107 square became 100 plus 7 whole square because 100 plus 7 is 107 remember the bracket children don't write it 100 plus 7 square right it is 100 plus 7 entire thing is inside the square and now you thinking this as a and this as b we can use identity 1 to write it as a square plus 2 a b plus 7 where a is 100 and b is 7 and 100 square is easy we have learned during the multiplication it is 100 into 100 2 0 will become 4 0 so it will become 10,000 plus 2 into 100 is 200 into 7 is 1400 plus 7 into 7 is 49 and when you add these three you're going to get 11449 so instead of doing 107 into 107 we did it this and this multiplication was much easier you can do it in your mind also or in the paper very easily and just add it and you got the answer so pretty useful case if you were given 109 or 103 or 500 and 9 500 into 500 also you can do 5 into 5 25 100 into 100 is 10,000 so it will become 25,000 right so very simple way to do this kind of square problem another example let's take an algebraic expression 2p plus 3q whole square here think this as a this is as b so a is 2p and b is 3q you can write this as a square plus 2ab 
plus b square. Remember putting the bracket children because this entire a is 2p. Don't just write 2p square. Bracket 2p square because it's entire a. This 2p is a not just p. So this is a and 3q is p. So put the bracket. And now you can open the bracket using your power and exponent laws of m square m n whole square is m square n square so 2 into 2 will become 4 p into p square will become p square 2 square is 4 p square is p square plus multiply this constants was 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 p q plus same thing m n whole square is m square n square so we can say 3 square q square 3 square is 9 and this is q square right so using identity 1 we solve this thing and the answer is 4p square plus 12pq plus 9q square so that's all in this lesson children bye bye